further down the road. This is uh, anyone that had it to me. Yeah, I, I love that you say that because the the for everybody listening, a, a common topic and theme on my podcast, uh, based on my background, is that it, uh, anything is possible and letting people know what's out there and what's available to them. And if they're sitting in a cubicle right now and maybe they're making good money, maybe they're not, but they're miserable either way that there are options, but they're not free and they're not easy. And so when you say, uh, that you stepped into the single family, I want to, or that you stepped into multifamily and, 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 and listened to, you know, join the club. I want to, I want to slow down there a little bit and talk about how yeah. difficult that was to do because I don't want to make just I hate the 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 real estate guys who talk about how simple it is the flippers who talk about how simple it is to flip a house I flip more houses and I know what to do with every one of them sucked and it was hard as can be the numbers never come in right it never budgets correctly there's always something so if you could tell us about when you made that decision and kind of a little bit in the weeds if you can about just really how difficult that first one was or, or, or maybe some of the challenges as you got started there so that people have a sense of what's in front of them uh, should they decide to take a jump outside of the corporate world and specifically into real estate. The biggest, the biggest uh, roadblock and obstacle I think anybody's going to have is your own core group, your own network of people, because nobody has your dream. It's your dream. You know? So you will, see, you will face criticism. You will face ridicule because nobody's doing it. And when you start getting good at it, they're going to get even louder because you're, you're reminding them of what they're not doing. Mm. You know, I, I've picked up some, some recent, a lot of fans recently, and I picked up some haters along the way. And I've realized that if you aren't doing something worth it, if you aren't doing anything worth hating on, you're not going to have it, you know? And so I think just learning to understand that it's always been you versus you, not you, not them versus you. It's you versus you. And when you realize that, you realize that it doesn't matter what comes in front of you, it doesn't matter what they think, you're going to make the right decisions for you because it's your path. Whether you decide to start a business, whether you decide to go left, you decide to go right, you're going to fall on your own sword because you did it yourself. It's not because somebody else told you to do it. You know, if you want their life, then take their advice. If you want a different life, you should take other people's advice. I'm a big proponent of mentors. I think networking to find those mentors is huge. You know, I've had the privilege of being able to sit with Grant Cardone in his studio. I mean, you know, Grant Cardone and sure. his crazy sales and, and just, you know, promoter to most strategy. I've had a chance to sit with Gary Vaynerchuk up in New York office, in his New York office and understand how important videos are, are, are used to tell stories for any business. That, I mean, if you're a dentist, or if you're a real estate agent or if you own multifamily properties, use videos and tell your story. Recently, I got a chance to sit, sit with a, Tark El Musa from, from Flip or Flop, and he came to visit with me and my team for three days and wanted to um, network a little more and learn more about who we were as a company. And each, each step along the way, you pick up ideas. Yeah, the, You pick up ideas from people that are where you want to be, and that's the people you should be listening to. I, I think the from the outside looking in, I th it's my opinion that people – I had a great mentor. Uh, he just died recently. He was a Fortune 500 CEO for uh, for years and years, and then I got him from 65 to 85 and uh, – and, and he just died recently, but uh, he was invaluable for me growing my company. But I think that there's this view from the outside about us entrepreneurs and people that, that particularly started their business and then have success. Number one, they only see the success. They don't see the 2007, 2008 and the crush and you getting started and taking the risk and all of that. And so there's a perception that somehow what we do is is just magical and it just happens and it's just easy and and and. and we we kind of are imbued with some sort of self knowledge about how to be an entrepreneur, and I always say everything I learned, obviously, I learned from somebody else. And in particular, I found people that were that knew what I wanted to do, whatever it was I wanted to get into. I found the best person I can and had them teach me. And so you just shut up and listen. That's what I say: is just shut up. And how do you how do you want to get into something? How do you want to be successful? How do you want to move into real estate? You shut up and listen, and you let Robert Martinez tell you how he did it. Uh, so I'm a I, I could not agree more uh, with you on on that. 